morning, everybody. <clears throat> Did you see what I wear? It's a kind of scarf, right? It's a QCDs. So I think this is actually inside of your package. So please use it. Or if you think this is for a young kid, just give it to your kid. <laughs> but I'm so young, right? <laughs> because my last name is Young, right? <laughs> so everybody's young because we're in a cloud industry, right? So we should be young and we need to be aggressive, okay? So good morning. And uh, my name is Mike Young. And I welcome all of you to join the Valley's first ever hybrid converged infrastructure conference. And I feel great honor to organize this uh, event. We've got a big day ahead of us. So let's get started. Okay. In my presentation, Sorry, a little confusing. <laughs> okay, okay. So, okay. In my presentation, the first portion, I will talk a little bit about IT industry trend and why hyperconverged infrastructures fit data centers of all sizes. So, this is my first portion. And the first one, I think here, you can see that uh, we got the, the, the reports from IDC that uh, there's a some highlights of uh, paradigm shift from traditional IT to cloud. And the IDC actually reports that uh, still the majority will be still deployed by traditional IT. But on the contrast, you'll see that uh, end of this decade, the percentage of the cloud, see here, the private, private and the public, was shared around 50%. So means, starting from 2021, a couple of years from now, you'll see it's over 50% market share. And the most important thing is uh, in 2020, everybody knows that 5G is coming. So the telcos will transform to the cloud. Actually, as far as my understanding, it's been there. And as far as my understanding of those uh, telcos, they're doing something now. And, uh, as far as my understanding, this is uh, their, their, their direction is very much like uh, hyperconverged infrastructures. It's a little different approach for the web customers, web giants, okay? Now, so I think uh, this is actually the time for us to get prepared for the undergoing paradigm shift and embrace the future, okay? So, Let's talk a little about, little about uh, cloud computing. We all know that cloud computing was originated from hyperscale customer players. Now, let's take a look how cloud computing to be extended to outside the hyperscalers, which I mean uh, like uh, you know, the data centers of, uh, of all sizes, like uh, second wave cloud service providers, hosting company, and the enterprises, okay? We all know cloud computing is the perfect platform for TCO savings, agility, and the scalability. It is also geared toward interoperability and efficiency via integration and the convergence. There's one thing very important for hyperscaler is because they are pioneer in this cloud era and they harvest it in public cloud. Most important thing, the difference is that because they heavily invest significant engineering resources to realize their solution. And that this is, frankly speaking, unlike hyperscalers, second wave cloud service providers, hosting companies and uh, enterprises, they are late, you know, Mostly, usually, they, they are leg off internal resources and the skill sets to implement this kind of solution. So what they can do is they have two 
they have to rely on technology innovations from outside. So, what we think is a hyper-converged infrastructure has become the right path for them to take. Okay. And uh, with pre-integrated hardware and the software-defined infrastructures, hyper-converged uh, hyper infrastructure delivers tremendous TCO advantages. Timely deployment and the flexible scalabilities and the seamless integration and also elimin elimination of silos. So you can see that all the goodies from the hyper-converging infrastructure. And today, we set the theme of open, ready, and transformative. In the next few slides, I would like to explain a little more on why it matters and what QCT had done, as well as it leads you to the winning path. Okay, so this slide actually shows uh, the first point, open. I think the open is part of our DNA. I think it covered long, around six, seven years ago when we started the journey. At that time, we are very open-minded. We just give out all the traditional thinkings outside of our brain. So open is very important. And in fact, a couple of years ago, we joined Open Compute Project as a partner of uh, Facebook and others. At this moment, we do have most complete product for portfolio based on the OCP standard, ranging from the server, storage, network switches, and even the rack system. So we love, we love open, okay? And the, the other thing is, recently we are also a launch partner of Intel rack scale design. This is a very innovative approach to manage rack scale IT resources. And we also do believe it will become the kind of standard in this industry too, okay? So let's take a look about the, the software. We embrace the three big camps. The first one, VMware, Microsoft, then the OpenStack. And as last month, VMware announced the Cloud Foundation and we are part of it. And we are already ship POC to customers. So this is a very good example for you, for your information. And not only just this, but also we collaborate with those cloud native comp uh, company software partners, you know, it's uh, uh, containerized software partners, companies like uh, Mesos, Kubernetes, and even the core OS, and um, like Dockers, you know, we've been working with them. So you'll see that uh, we're very open-minded. We work with everybody because we do believe we can bring you know, value to our customers. So we position ourselves as a central kitchen to serve our customers with all kinds of uh, HCI offerings. As we believe, this emerging solution will not be dominated by any single vendor soon. So open gives our customers a freedom of choice. Okay, let's talk a little bit about ready. See, look at this slide. QCD has all the building blocks. As I just mentioned that, you know, we have all the product portfolio ranging from server storage and network switches, generation by generation. This is very important because you don't just buy one, then the next generation people, are, you know, the comp the, your vendor told you that, well, sorry, I didn't invest in the following project. It's going to be a problem. So this is something that we, <clears throat> we design, we manufacturing, we sell. And because of the three S, so we have very good rack systems. For example, like we have OCP rack, and we have OCS rack, and we have Scoville rack, and even we have traditional 19-inch rack systems. So it's all optimized, okay? And besides the hardware, 
as I just explained, that you know, we work on the software-defined data centers with all the software partners like this. So you'll see that uh, with this kind of uh, values that we can provide to our customers, we're the only one choice for you. Okay? So QCD is ready because we extend our understanding from hardware to software and even the workloads. So we are now even, we're thinking that the HCI solutions that we provide to the customers should be based on the specific workloads. So this is something we're working on. And of course, we have a very good relationship with Intel working on this and also with software partners, okay? So for this portion, I think you can learn more about this during the breakout session after lunch. Let's talk about transform method. QCT actually has been uh, gone through uh, a few transformation milestones, as shown on the slides, 1.0, uh, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and even 4.0. Where you can see QCT's transformative journey aligns with uh, cloud computing industry trend very well, okay? Let me explain a little bit. You know, during the 1.0, we announced the first OCP server. And then after that, the second stage, again, as I mentioned, that we have a full product portfolio ranging from server store and network switches. And the most important thing is uh, we are the only one who design, manufacture, and we sell by ourselves. So we integrate all these kind of uh, capabilities, then provide this kind of values to our customers. After this, because of this, you know, we also would like to think about, hey, not only just a product or, or technology, but also from the supply chain management point of view, from the fulfillment point of view, how we can serve our customers better. And this is not for HGO. We are talking about it global. So the third stage, we're the cloud enablers with global fulfillment. So you'll see that uh, we have a global integration centers around the world to fulfill our cloud customers' requirement. And again, QCD has witnessed, experienced, and been part of uh, explosive growth in hyperscale space. Now, the 4.0, let's bring the expertise to you to be the guide to enable your clouds through HCI. Okay. okay, so before we move into the heart of uh, morning session, um, I want to take a minute to thank everyone who has contributed to this event. A wide variety of uh, partners, and also customers, users, and of course, <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and the community members who has prepared excellent, excellent doc content that is both useful and relevant. So I hope you take a moment during the day to meet them, exchange thoughts and ideas. With this, I wish you have a great day here. Get on to the open, ready, and the transformative winning path. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Thank you.